Hello, hello, Virgos. It is AD with Chaos Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your November 2018 mid-months. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the growth, Virgos. I super appreciate it. I hope that this message resonates with as many people as possible. But again, because this is in fact a general reading, I'm not sure what energies are going to come through. With that being said, please remember that I am still doing the $10 three card special, okay, for the rest of November. So please, if that interests you, check that out. All the information is in the description box below. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram where I post artwork and, and stuff like that and just like kind of me you know or whatever um you can certainly follow me at the Gothic Goon all that information again is in the description box okay so without any further ado let's get into it all right Okay, so <laughs> we had the, oops, sorry, we had the four of um, cups fly out. So there might be an opportunity um, coming in, some offers coming in. And I, it was also followed by the Knight of Wands. So there might be some passionate flings that come in. Some people, you know, but with the Knight of Wands um, energy, that's something that, that comes in hot and, and leaves even hotter you know what I'm saying it's not necessarily the most stable energy or some Virgos are just feeling stagnant and bored and not really knowing exactly what they want to do and how they want to keep moving forward okay so this the four of cups also represents um stagnation boredom unhappiness with what's happening right now okay especially with um fours there's not a lot of movement so some of you Virgos could be growing um impatient all right Some of you guys could be connecting with an Aries. A few more shuffles. the cups try to pop out so some of you are definitely going to be receiving some romantic offers and some proposals of love somebody's trying to you know wife you up or husband you up i don't know what the male <laughs> equivalent of that is i don't know y'all boot up Virgos, let's see what's going on. Okay, so the underlying energy that we do in fact have for this month is the Queen of Cups. Okay, so some of you guys could be connecting with the water sign. Um, this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We still are in Scorpio season, right? Okay, so that energy could be coming through, but this is a really loving deep nurturing energy um that's coming through like i said some of you guys are going to be entering into some really deep romantic partnerships all right um and so and for some of you guys this is from the past and for some of you guys this is new um i know that means nothing but <laughs> some of you guys are going to be reconnecting or connecting with somebody is kind of what i'm getting from this card but we will definitely see in the rest of the spread how it plays out all right so the heart of this reading is the Ten of Swords, so that's an ending, closing of a cycle, to the Two of um, Swords as the past foundation energy. We have the Fool as the present, okay, taking that risk, taking that leap of faith, and then we move into the Eight of Cups, and then our word of advice is the Ace of Wands, okay? So there's a definitely a new passionate beginning, but just really simply put, right, you're not exactly knowing what to do, okay? Especially closing out this cycle with this tin of swords here being the heart of the reading. And like I said in the last video, I always consider November and Scorpio season to be the season of rebirth. It is my personal new year just because there are a lot of closing of cycles and a lot of entering of new cycles that are going to put you on path for what you're going to be doing next year. So some of you guys are thinking about what you're going to be doing next year. So if you're closing out a painful cycle, you're going to be moving into something new. And the thing about this thing that, that that's something new is you're going to have a lot of options coming your way. Could be a lot of love options, could be a lot of career options, work options, but they're just things that are opening up. I kind of feel like Virgos, it's like, um, 
feast or famine. Like you were in like this famine state. <laughs> and I know with some of my Virgo friends, you know, you're in this famine state where there was absolutely nothing happening with that four of cups there. You were just like sitting there. Stuff was kind of passing you by. You're like, why do other people have this? Why is nothing happening or whatever? And then kind of overnight, you were faced with all of these different opportunities, all these different things that came in that kind of happened out of nowhere. And you were just like, well, now when I when again, I think I said this in um, the Pisces video, it's just like no one was around. There were no opportunities coming in when I was like literally begging for them and now there's so much I really don't even know how to I don't even know where to put my foot I don't even know where to start okay and that is what this foundation is built on with this two of swords so this is decision making okay there's a lot there's quite a bit of sword energy here so it's just like logically what are you going to do love Virgos are extremely logical okay but this is the two of swords is asking you to combine your heart and combine your um, mind to move forward right but you're going to have to make a decision Virgo it's okay for you to be stagnant you know if, if you're feeling stagnant it's fine for a little bit if you're going to try to figure out your next move, but don't get stuck in analysis paralysis, okay? Because movement does have to happen. But the good news is a lot of you guys are going to be doing that with this full card here. Some of you guys are really going to be stepping out and taking risk in certain directions. And I think that that is where the feast comes from, okay? Just a lot of abundance, a lot of opportunities. And I don't think that that's negative. I just think that it's something that as a Virgo, you have to adjust to because you're like, what's going on like my brain is not processing this like where's all of this coming from but my challenge to you Virgo is to actually not question it and just go with it you know adopt that queen of cups energy that Pisces you know go with the flow that Piscean energy that water energy where you're just going to go with it instead of questioning it questioning it and doubting it you know what I'm saying because Virgos can have a tendency to do that where they're just like wait where did this come from I don't believe that this is true I don't believe that this is happening you know yada 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 down that you know down that path but I'm, I'm asking you to just stick with the full card you know the advice is the ace of wands which is action okay take action don't get stuck in your head Virgos because there are some really great things that are happening so much so you're going to be so overcome with so many options that you don't even know what to do okay and so you're really going to be a what you're really going to want to be aware of excuse me where you put your foot down you know with the Seven of Cups, I'm not even necessarily seeing this as like, you know, with the Seven of Cups, there's always that air of, am I going to be signing on to something that's going to help me in the long run? Or is this something that is going to harm me? Okay, so there's always that air. It's like, am I getting a snake or am I getting a reef? Am I getting a diamond or am I getting this little candy thing? You know, <laughs> you don't know, but you're so overwhelmed. You're just like, oh, where do I start? But I have faith in you guys. Um, that you will be able to make the right decision for whatever comes in for you, Virgos. Especially, yeah, with the Queen of Cups being here, I was going to say High Priestess, but I don't need to because the Queen of Cups is in fact here. And so this is intuition. This is a psychic ability, really tuning into that type of, um, that, that spiritual side that you have where you receive the guidance that you are in fact looking for without much you know, issue. Just truly believe in yourself with this Two of Swords moment that you're coming in you know, that you're building this foundation on. So it's just like, if you are, if you keep this blindfold on, you really won't be able to even see the cups that are being coming towards you because there's just going to be a lot of offers that are going to come to come going to come towards you. Right. And trust yourself because you have been tested by God and by the universe with this 10 of swords here. You've been tested, but it's a closing of a cycle and starting on of a new one. Okay, Virgo. So it's not like, you know, the world never gives you more than you can handle, okay? So if you're closing out this chapter and you're being reborn again into this new fresh person, trust these lessons that you've learned by these setbacks that you might have feel, felt that you've had. Trust that they've made you able to make the decisions that you, in fact, want to make and move how you are, in fact, going to move. Because there's just so many options that are coming in here, but there's definitely a new start. There's definitely a new beginning. And, you know, your advice is action. Take that leap of faith, okay? Believe in yourself first and foremost. And also believe that your spirit, your your guides, you um 
love, um, compassion, all that stuff still exists and it has your back. Even though you can't see the net, I'm, I'm asking you to take that leap um, as you as you move forward because there's just so many options. And you don't want to lose out on opportunities because you are so hesitant to move forward, Virgos. It's because you're so hesitant to pick something wrong. There is no wrong, okay? And you've learned the lessons because you might have picked, quote, wrong in the past. Now you can kind of see the signs of, you know, that that hidden that hidden devil type energy that I'm getting. It's just like you've been fooled before, you know, so you're not you're not new to this. Okay? And then again, we have the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. And so this is ultimate wish fulfillment and wish granted. Okay, Virgo. So you really are moving into what you want. Do not be afraid of getting what you want. You know, it might be like, I haven't had a, I haven't had a good time in a long time. Or there's a Smith song that I'm thinking of. And it's like, please, please, please let me, let me, let me get what I want. Lord knows I haven't had in a long time. You know, <laughs> and I personally always sing that song <laughs> in the car, but I kind of feel like you actually are, you know, so it's time to pick a new song song it's time to pick a new sing a new tune celebrate you know new because again you have that logic to make these decisions with this queen of swords energy it's just like you are able to use your logic and you're detached emotionally from the situation so you're really looking at it you're not afraid to get hurt like you were necessarily in the past you're really ready to take that leap of faith and keep moving forward if that makes sense and, and with the Queen of Swords, this is somebody, this is a bitch who's been there, done that, got that t-shirt. She's, she's not as easily fooled because she's seen it all. She's mature. She's wise. She's sage. So she doesn't even make time for shenanigans and bullshit anymore. She's just like, she sees it coming a mile away. And I feel like that's where you are. And that's why you are able to grant your wishes because you have suddenly become the genie. Like, <laughs> you know, you are now that genie in the bottle. You are able to create your own um, masterpiece you know your own wish your own will so really this new cycle that you're starting on with this full card it's really time to take that leap and just trust that the universe has your back do not get stuck in analysis paralysis and then here we go with two pisces cards some of you guys are definitely connecting with the pisces yep i definitely see anxiety <laughs> but this is you know and, and i mentioned the high priestess earlier because i had a feeling about this energy and when i see the high priestess i always make sure to note that you know okay you absolutely know. And if you don't know, then t tune out the world, listen to yourself, listen to your guides, listen to your inner, um, that inner voice that you have to make that decision to get out of this hangman state because you guys are definitely here not making a decision because you're just faced with so many. But follow your gut, okay? Truly follow your gut because you have it. The underlying energy is, in fact, the Queen of Cups. That is a very psychic energy. But some of you guys are just, you know, you are adopting some really Piscean um, acts. And, you know, that is your polar opposite on the on the chart, you know? <laughs> so you're, you're kind of out of your element. But Pisces and Virgos are two sides of the same coin, okay? So what you follow logically, you know, Pisces might follow in their heart. So now it's asking you to follow your heart and listen to that intuition, even if it seems unreasonable, even if you can't fully describe it, Virgo. Step out of that habit, you know, of constantly questioning because it hasn't done really anything but putting you in this Nine of Swords state where you are, you know, really nervous. But, you know, I just heard... <laughs> You know, some of you guys are waiting to exhale, you know, like that book. But some of you guys are waiting to exhale, and now it's time to exhale. But when you do, you're going to be breathing fire, you know, like a dragon. So what are you breathing towards? What are you putting that energy towards? How are you moving forward, you know, is kind of the question that I'm getting. Because there's definitely a new chapter here with the Magician card. And you have all the tools necessary to be successful, which is why that Nine of Cups is here. Could be connecting with an Aries. But certainly, you are definitely in the beginning of a new birth a new chapter for yourself okay within the scorpio season towards this later half of november really think about these choices and these options that are coming in for you and how you're going to move towards them but you have the tools required you have every tool required in order to be successful but also when you see this this is you know as above so below you know mercury is definitely going into retrograde and so the as above and so below so you guys are definitely going to be feeling that because that is your ruling planet so towards the end of the month if you are feeling like i think it's i believe it's the 16th or the 17th when mercury go when mercury goes retrograde so if you guys are feeling like you're out of control of your own like 
world or like stuff isn't working out maybe that's also what these cards are asking you you to do wait until that retrograde is over to truly make those decisions that you are going to make um but just be aware that as soon as it's over you're gonna have to move okay so you might have bought a little bit of time you know you got me you might have bought a little bit of time to stay in this um two of sword state and to stay in this hangman state um while the while the retrograde is happening but after that it's ace of wands time okay when sagittarius season fire passion movement freedom exploring discovering you know learning jupiter is now back at home in sagittarius so there's expansion happening luck is on your side things are moving in a very positive energy so just believe it do not stay in this nine of swords moment there's no need for it virgo Listen to me. There's no need for you to be worried and panic about what's happening. You are definitely on a new chapter. You've closed out a very painful one, and it's time for you to move the fuck on because you've earned it. You've deserved it. Okay, Virgo? Let's pull some oracles for you guys. So at the bottom of the deck, we do in fact have Pluto. So that is what I'm saying. Uh, Scorpio season has made its appearance, okay? Pluto rules Scorpio. And this is the planet of extremes. This is the planet of also like kind of hidden truths and finding out the truth for yourself. But with this, I just really imagine the extreme of death and rebirth, closing out a cycle and beginning a new one. Again, this is to me, this is the new year. So you're going to be feeling new energies. You're going to be putting... Um, you're going to be receiving different elements that are going to provide you for next year. So, uh, okay, you're going to be receiving those tools in your, you know, toolkit as the magician. You're going to be receiving that wand, that cup, that pinnacle. What are you going to do with it and make for it, you know, with this New Year's, with this, with this new cycle, with this new beginning that's coming in? With Pluto being there. Okay, then we have Jupiter, and this is what I was talking about earlier. Boom! Okay, see, Jupiter is moving into Sagittarius, so this is a big deal, because that is its home. So this is luck, expansion, growth. I already said all of this, but just to reiterate, Jupiter is definitely on your side. This is a very, this is the lucky planet, okay? So, and the planets are at your, you know, are at, are at your disposal. They're helping you. They're, they're, they're bringing themselves together to help you out. So to put you on, you know, this path that you're going to be on. But do not be afraid that you can't see the net. It's going to appear, Virgo. I feel like that's a part of the test. <laughs> I feel like the universe is testing you right now to see if you truly believe, you know. Thinking of like the Magic uh, Express, that movie with that cartoon movie with um, Tom Hanks, I guess animated would be the appropriate term. And then we have Scorpio. Okay, so it is Scorpio season. Death, rebirth, extremes. Don't know how else to put it. Um, some of you guys are um, coming into contact with the Scorpio. And some of you guys are just truly discovering some truths about yourself but truly following your intuition really harnessing your power scorpios are very um manipulative is the word that I, i'm using but that's not the negative way as in manipulative as in manipulating the tools that they have in order to get what they want i'm not saying manipulative in the negative sense in this particular case but they're able to take what they have and get what they want. So, and they're strategic, okay? So as you're moving, as you're, you know, you're taking a step back during this retrograde, if you choose to do that, you know, which I recommend for you guys because it hits you hard. Um, as you're taking the step back, um, really be kind of plotting, <laughs> plotting and scheming and scamming for what it is that you're going to do with your newfound freedom that you are definitely going to be receiving, okay, in this new year, in this new path. What are you going to do for 2019 is what I'm getting. What moves can you make, okay? And for some of you guys, there are hidden truths that are going to be reveal revealing themselves, um, especially with the partner of Pluto and Scorpio, Scorpio's 
nothing gets past them. Okay, to say it, to say it nicely. And so you've kind of adopted that energy. Some of you guys are investigating. Some of you guys are hunting. The only thing I say with hunting and investigating, don't hunt and investigate if you're not prepared to find something that you don't want to find. Okay, be prepared for everything if you are snooping. All right. But hey, I don't judge. That's just my my word of advice. But yeah, certainly options, options, options is what I'm getting, guys. But really wait. Really wait until after the retrograde is over to step foot because it's going to feel overwhelming. But there's a new start that's coming in. I, I just I just recommend you guys kind of laying low and kind of keeping with that hangman position. Is this... All right, so for some of you guys, a new romantic cycle begins, okay? Yeah, that's lovely. And I saw that as I was pre-shuffling. Um, I'm happy when general readings cover different topics. I know that sometimes it leaves people hanging, but I'm happy. Yeah, if this is in fact a love reading, okay, it, it, still, it still applies. You know, there's just a lot of options that are coming in, um from every which way and so feast or famine <laughs> you guys were you know pussy dry dick limp and now you know it's a river and now it's standing tall so that is really what I'm getting you guys and like you're looking attractive but again do not enter in a new relationship until mercury is out of retrograde because there's just going to be so many so much you know confusion that's happening at this at this time and at the bottom of the deck you had take time to breathe so I, that's what i'm saying take take this time to enjoy the attention but don't don't think too deep about it could be connecting with the scorpio some of you guys are certainly connecting with the scorpio some of you guys are certainly connecting with the sagittarius um others of you cancer's pisces Scorpio, I already said, um, with the uh, with the Queen of Swords here, this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or just somebody who can really communicate. Pisces here is is a couple of times. Um, it could be any sign, but I don't see any Earth, not a lick of Earth. I even see the Ace of Wands here, so that's the fire energy. So Aries, um, again, Sagittarius and Leo. Okay. Oh, see, look at this. You're very close to achieving your goal, Virgo. And with that Ten of Swords being there, I'm not surprised to see that. It's just, it's going to put you in a different place. So be aware. It's like one of those things like where you finally get what you wanted. <laughs> like I was saying earlier, you finally got what you wanted. You're finally on the right track. And now you got to figure out what you're going to do with yourself. But before you start on something, weigh your options, okay? Before you become overwhelmed. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have conclusions are within reach. So those answers that you are seeking are coming to you. That's why I'm saying Pluto and Scorpio, that they anything that was hidden comes to light. And it's because Scorpio's just, that Scorpionic energy just does not let shit get past them. And so you are really adopting that. So the answers that you want, you are going to find. Again, how you're seeking them, make sure that you're ready to, you know, find them. And then again, we have um, a new a a new start is coming, okay? And you guys are really going to be prepared. You guys are really going to be prepared for what is in fact coming in. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. This is my new deck, Moonology by Yasmin Bolin. I absolutely love it. Um, if you can't tell, <laughs> I jumped right into it. But that is my new deck. Again, all the decks and stuff that I use, crystals and stuff that I use, is in the description box below. So that is just a side note that I forgot to mention earlier. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's get into it. Um, <laughs> let's finish this last oracle. <laughs> dude the only problem with this deck and i love it because i love the message but it's too big and my hands are too small so like it's always like a crap shoot if i'm gonna be able to make it through or if i'm gonna end up throwing them 
Today was snowing in. <laughs> Finish out three. <laughs> okay. Ah! I really like this. I'm going to take it. Okay. Balance at the bottom of the deck, which I appreciate. Um, I do appreciate that. Anyways. Ecstasy. So this is overcome with joy and happiness, you know, to the oomph degree you know so much ecstasy is also a drug but y'all don't need drugs because you're living off of your own high right again you guys are really going to enjoy really enjoy this feast while while you have it before you start moving and making decisions you know come after the uh retrograde really enjoy you know all the attention that you're getting you know because eventually once you make that decision then you're going to be putting your energy towards one person so enjoy Sagittarius season enjoy the freedom that you have and really really be happy you guys um but don't put too much weight into it is my recommendation okay but do what you want you can always do what you want and then we have miracles so this really goes into what I was talking about as in like nets do appear that will be a miracle for you do not get stuck in analysis paralysis i keep saying that don't get stuck in your head don't get stuck in trying to figure out how it's going to work out because miracles do happen every fucking day babies are born okay miracles every day right people transfer over to the next life every day miracles okay so don't think that they are just missing you are going to avoid you they're there for you also okay virgos so just be aware when you start taking that leap when you start moving if you do not see the leap if you do not see the net it's going to appear if you don't see your way you will have that light you will have that shining and honestly with the high priestess and the and the Queen of Cups being here, it's coming from within, which is super dope. I'm literally imagining, like, the Care Bears, like, you know, the power comes out, or, like, somebody, like, shoots out their chest. <laughs> you know, you are the miracle, right? And then we have Earth Force, which is your energy here, you know? So really just being, staying grounded and being practical in this time. Okay, Virgos? So I really hope that this um, message resonated with you guys please let me know in the description box below please continue to support like share and subscribe remember that i'm stu still doing that ten dollar special and i thank you guys so much welcome if you're new hello if you're old and let's you know spread love and positivity because the world really truly needs it right now and you guys are some of the most gentile loving you know pure creatures to grace this planet and so i really encourage you to share that um with other people because they need that beautiful smile that you guys have, okay? So thank you, Virgos. Peace.